there. Well, today I'm going to show you how you can make yourself a tide clock. You can buy these, of course, but uh, any idiot can buy. Why not make your own? People throw out loads of clocks, quartz movement clocks, something like this. They usually work with a little battery, one half volt battery. You can pick these things up, junk sales, boot sales, 50p a pound. And uh, most are quite suitable for turning into a, into a um, tide, tide clock. The uh, tides are governed primarily by the, the moon and the moon's lunar cycle. And we need a clock that will keep a half a lunar day, which is 12 hours, 25 minutes and 14 seconds. So how can we do this? Well, you can buy the little quartz movements off the eBay for instance, they're under a pound, but when it comes to tide clock movements, which essentially are just running slower, they're considerably more. A little bit cheaper in the States, but uh, they're certainly not cheap here, and anyway, I'd prefer to make things. So, how do we do this? Um, well, it's relatively simple. First of all, we, we don't need the second hand, you can leave it if you wish, that will show the clock is working. We don't need the minute hand. If you design yourself a face, perhaps uh, points of the compass or something, there's a few designs at the end of this little video. Make up your own, take a picture, print it out on your printer and stick it to the face of the clock. Um, it can be any size you like, I'll leave that to you. Uh, so what are we looking for? Well. Here's a cheapo. <laughs> Let's see if I can zoom into this. I hope this one's going to show it. Aha, yes, this is an ideal candidate. Uh, let's go in. There you go. A screwdriver. Um, all quartz clocks are governed by a little quartz crystal. And just here is the quartz crystal. You'll find them on all the... All the uh, uh, movements. They might be the other side of the printer circuit board. Um, you'll have to try, you know, find out where they are. But they'll all be a little cylinder like that with two wires sticking out the end. That's your quartz, quartz crystal that governs the, tie, the time keeping of this little movement. So, what we can do, we can put a small padding capacitor across that, that quartz crystal and pull it. Um, which is quite common practice. We're only looking at a few uh, picker fires at the very most. And uh, it's not difficult to do, but it does take an awful lot of patience to uh, get the thing regulated right. So, what sort of capacitor can we put a pot across there? Well, there's different types. There's... Where's my hand gone? There you go. There's a little tiny will my camera focus? Will it? Just about. A little adjustable capacitor type. There's the little compression type. Well, if you've got an old uh, junk box like me, there's a good old-fashioned uh, beehive uh, variable capacitor. So, there you have it. Um, I think I've given you the basis for uh, making yourself a lunar time clock. Um, they will require adjustments every month or so, and um, it's it's a an average of time, but uh, they'll be uh, pretty accurate, and uh, you'll have the fun of saying you made it yourself. 